Cosmonaut peel is being done by me now around 10 years plus. I have like really done for and it's one of the best medium depth peel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Cosmoland peel. Um, it is a skin chemical peel that I had done on my face about 10 months back. And I wanted to wait to kind of see the complete results on myself before I went ahead and took this video for you guys. It is a peel that shows you results over a few months, which is why it kind of took me so long to shoot this video from the time I did the peel. Uh, now before we move ahead with the video, let me tell you what all I'm going to cover in today's video. Um, so I'm going to be telling you a little about what is Cosmelan Peel, what was my entire process in my week one, which is from day one to day six, how my skin kind of peeled and what happened to my skin uh, in the first one week. And later on, there's going to be a video with my dermatologist that I had done at that time, where I'm asking her a couple of questions about uh, what kind of chemical peels are available today, who can get them done, and a little bit more about Cosmelan Peel. Cosmelan peel. Um, Cosmelan peel is basically a cold peel. It is something that is mainly done to get rid of sunspots, pigmentation, melasma, hyperpigmentation, deep scarring, open pores, uneven skin and texture, uh, and all of that. But I would say my main um, reason why I got this peel done is because I had sunspots, hyperpigmentation, and melasma on my skin, which was there for uh, over a couple of years now and it just had become so stubborn that it didn't want to leave my skin. I had reached a point where it had started bothering me and I wanted to kind of get rid of these marks fast. Uh, something that was effective but worked quickly on my skin and uh, I didn't want it to be a super slow process for these marks to kind of fade away. Uh, so I went ahead with this peel. It is a chemical peel that is suitable and safe for all skin types, even sensitive and irritated skin. I have extremely sensitive skin and it worked really well for me. So it is suitable for all skin types. It does not uh, involve any pain or any other irritation or any kind of redness. I would say the redness just lasts for about the first one week and after that, uh, your skin is fine, uh, there is no redness. Uh, but it involves a lot of peeling of the skin. I would say for the first seven to 10 days, my skin was shedding, it was peeling because that's what this chemical peel is supposed to do. What is the downtime or aftercare for this peel? So downtime I would say is the first uh, 10 to 12 days. The first one to four days, your skin will be red, it will be swollen, it will feel tight um after this mask and after the fourth or the fifth day your skin will start peeling it will start peeling profusely it will be obvious that your skin is like shedding and peeling uh, but that's what's supposed to happen it's normal so let it shed naturally do not try to uh, rub your skin or exfoliate your skin or try to peel off uh, any skin that's peeling off uh, let it shed absolutely naturally it's normal uh, and uh, when it comes to aftercare, you only need to apply the products that are given to you uh, by your uh, skin specialist. Um, 
which are your moisturizer and sunscreen which is extremely important during this time because your skin is going to be dry so you need to moisturize and the first layer of your skin is going to be peeling so you technically have no barrier on your skin so you need to apply sunscreen throughout the day whether you're stepping out or whether you're sitting at home uh, sunscreen is extremely 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 important in this process so do not skip that step at all uh, also do not apply any other products because uh, you're supposed to only apply the products that are that you've been told to apply for the first few months or till the time your dermatologist has told you to. I'll tell you a little bit about the process uh, of how this mask or how this peel was applied on my skin. So the first step was to kind of completely clean my skin off of any dirt or any makeup. Um, and then this mask uh, was applied, which was, it was a very thick layer of mask that was applied on my skin. Uh, it took about 30 minutes to apply this. And then um, I was given this set of products to take home with me, which I was then explained of how I need to apply these products. And uh, I was asked to go home. This mask then completely dried on my skin and I was asked to wash it off after 12 hours. Uh, so I practically slept on uh, with this mask on my face. This mask is usually advised to be applied between 8 to 12 hours depending on how much of a treatment you require or how severe your uh, dark spots are. Uh, mine were pretty severe uh, so I was asked to leave it on for about 12 hours and then wash it off. Uh, after washing it off, uh, my skin felt tight, it was red, my face was swollen. Um, and for the first 72 hours, I was told to only apply moisturizer and sunscreen uh, that was given to me and that's it. I had to wash my skin off only with water, no face wash, nothing. So for the first 72 hours, that was the process. And then after 72 hours, um, they had given me this cream called Cosmelan 2, which I had to introduce into my routine during my night routine. So every night I had to apply Cosmelan 2 and then after a couple of days, they introduced it uh, also in the morning. So morning and night for the first few days. So I had to apply this Cosmelan 2 peel on my skin for three to four nights per week. Um, and that's what would maintain my skin over the next few months. Uh, that's really important because that's what's really important to kind of show the results on your face, on your skin. Uh, I applied this uh, for the next three to four months, uh, as I was told, and I saw some impressive results on my skin. My dark spots were fading. Uh, my new skin had come, which was like literally like fresh, even toned baby skin. So, yeah. Another thing that you need to keep in mind if you are considering getting this peel done is that it is a high maintenance peel you need to take a lot of care uh, of your face and of your skin after this peel because your skin becomes even more sensitive but if you do want to see true results then home care uh, after this peel is really really important uh, but you see great impressive results i am happy um, to get this peel done uh, because it did help even out my skin a lot it reduced uh, my acne it kind of just overall uh, gave me a really bright complexion. So I was happy with this peel. Hi everyone. So today I'm with my dermatologist, Dr. Batur Patel. And she has really helped me in my skin journey from a very long time. So for those of you who don't know, I used to have a lot of active acne and pigmentation marks on my skin. And I'm so happy with the results, <laughs> doctor. So thank you. And very recently, about six months back, for the very first time, I had done a chemical peel on my skin called Cosmolan Peel. And I was so happy with the results. And I don't have to kind of run behind, uh, you know, hiding my acne or even if I don't put any makeup. Like right now, I have minimal makeup and my skin still looks so good. So today, I'm going to have a quick chat with doctor to kind of answer questions that most of you have about chemical peels and whether you should get one or not. I have a few questions for you. Okay, okay so the very Hi, first question. Hi everyone, so I'm Dr. Patul Patel and yes, Alipia has been amazing and she's been following everything to the core and she's very meticulous so that's some of the benefit goes I'm to you. Like <laughs> 
So the very first question that I have is, what is a chemical peel and what are the different types of chemical peels that are there today? So that's great actually because you know everybody hears so much like let's get a chemical peel done. There are a lot of spas, salons, everything is everyone is offering this chemical peel. So chemical peel is nothing but a skin resurfacing procedure which helps to basically rejuvenate and you give you a new skin layer. But it depends on what kind of a depth of peel you're doing. So if it's a superficial peel or a medium depth peel or a deep peel. But a chemical peel is, is just helping your dead skin layer to come out so that the new skin layer which comes on top is much more of a better quality and, and hence the skin will glow. Okay, so what I knew about peels before I went for one was that there are superficial, medium and deep peels. Yes. So who are candidates for like each of these different types of peels? Then yes. for me, I think mine was one of the more... Uh, the more, a more stronger peel, like sure. I would say. Yeah. So, how, how does one identify? So, superficial peels go only up to the epidermis, and those are like your glycolic peel 10%, 20%, or a lactic peel 10%, 20%. The mid deep peel go up to the mid or a mid papillary dermis, mm -hmm. and the deep peel go up to the reticular dermis. Okay. okay. So, the superficial peels are meant for like a party peel, so like people can do. Okay. Very safely, however, a superficial peel also should be done under guidance because sometimes it can lead to bonds. Hmm. A deep peel is something like, oh, sorry, a medium peel is something like Cosmolan peel. It's a medium depth peel. Okay. In suit a lot of skin type if done well. Hmm. A deep peel honestly is not done nowadays because A, they are not the correct uh, audience to do it because we are Indian skin of color. If you are skin of color, you should avoid doing a deep peel. Because the downtime is a lot, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of downtime, which I, in my practice we don't. Hmm. So the deep peels are something which are not done so regularly. Okay. So if you have a glow part, or you want to glow, or you want to just quick rejuvenation, superficial peel, if you want to get rid of your deep pigmentation, melasma, deep scars, then you should do a medium peel. Okay. So uh, on an average, what is the downtime for peel? Superficial peel, no downtime. Mm. You can do it quickly and get back to work. Mm. If it's an if it's a peel for acne, then you have to do an acne peel. If it's a peel for pigmentation, then you do a pigmentation peel. If it's a peel for dark circles, then for areas which are sensitive areas like eyes and lips and all, we do a different peel, which is an argillic peel or a lactic acid peel. Mm. A medium depth peel, average time is seven to ten days, okay. and it can go up to fifteen to twenty days also. Okay, so nice. how much time did you take? My downtime was I think a month. Really? Yeah. For <laughs> yeah. my peel. Yeah. But my skin started improving. Like I started seeing like really good results after 30 days. I would say my skin was glowing. Until then it was yeah, the peeling and all was there. Yeah. But it was so worth it. Yeah. It was worth the results. <laughs> what kind of post peel care can you expect after a peel? So for a superficial peel, you should be definitely using a moisturizer like a barrier repair cream and a sunscreen is a must. Okay. For a medium depth peel, yes, it's very important to follow a very meticulous, good skincare plan, sunscreen 3-4 times a day, a moisturizer and a repair cream and also a post peel cream is also important. So how to keep improving the result of the peel. Hmm. It's not just get the peel done and you're done with it. You also need to take care, invest, use the correct vitamin C or use the correct, uh, you know, azelaic acid creams like lovely when you do after a peel. Hmm. But yes, of course, all under the guidance of the expert. Yes. Okay. My next question is how often should one get a peel? So, uh, okay, uh, and, uh, and to add to that, are they safe to kind of get done every now and then? Yeah. So, uh, suppose if you're doing a peel for acne, so then acne peels can be done as early as 15 days to a month because you're treating that COVID on the, you know, the pustules, the blackheads, the whiteheads. So, once every 15 days or a month is fine. When you're treating, a, a, like you're doing a party peel, once every 15 days or once every month should be fine. Okay. Whenever you do a peel, your post peel and pre peel preparation, if it is great, your skin will shine. Okay. The medium depth peel is what you should do once in a year or once in one and a half year. It's, it should be done at that point and not all the time. Okay. And not repeatedly. Okay. Now, because I'm doing this video specifically on my experience of the Cosmolan peel, I, I want my viewers to know exactly what is Cosmolan peel and what is the process of the entire peel 
so that I can take them through and people are confused because there are a lot of people out there who try doing this feel at home. Yeah. So how is the process going to take you? So uh, Cosmonaut Peel is being done by me now around 10 years plus. I have like really done for and it's one of the best medium depth peel. It works really well in, it's a very controlled peel and it works for our skin type really well because it does, it prevents any kind of burns or any kind of you know side effects and it works really well for stubborn pigmentation, for very stubborn melasma. Like I've had patients who've done everything and not improved and then we've done it under my like me. Yes, <laughs> like you. <laughs> Even like your marks, like yeah. your acne marks and everything. Honestly, I was, when I saw you, I knew that you should do that and I know you were very, you know, not <laughs> sure, <laughs> hesitant and all. And yes, you went through a period where, you know, you were red and all, but uh, because you followed a very good skincare plan, your skin really did shine and you did well. But Cosmolan Peel uh, is something which should always be done only in a clinic who knows, has an experience with Cosmolan Peel and then you can get fabulous results. Is there anything Doctor, that I have missed out that you want to kind of add from your side? So um, Cosmolan Peel can be done uh, for as I mentioned, acne, acne marks, uh, pigmentation, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, stubborn melasma, not responding to any lasers and uh, it, it comes with its own post-peel cream mm -hmm. and that you should be using it really well for a period of one month to three months to six months and you keep seeing that improvement. Uh, and uh, this downtime, yes, so we generally do Cosmolan peel one more thing during the trains or during the winter and mm -hmm. shouldn't be done in the summer months so okay. that's something that you should take care yeah okay so thank you doctor and just to tell you guys doctor's clinic uh, is in bandra and south mumbai it's called the bombay skin clinic for those of you who want to come and see her <laughs> definitely you're not going to be disappointed <laughs> so that is so sweet <laughs> So that's it for today's video. I hope that this video helped. Uh, do let me know in the comments if you are considering getting this peel done or if you have gotten this peel done in in the past. Um, it is a peel that is gaining a lot of popularity now. Yeah. Uh, if it is something that you've done in the past or if you are considering getting it done, do let me know. I'd love to know how your experience was. And if you have any questions, do let me know. Do, do write it in the comments below and I'm going to be happy to answer all your questions. Um, and I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.